Good morning guys, welcome back to Lick Branch Farms. I hope everyone is having an absolutely fabulous Sunday morning. It is July the 7th. We are in Central North Carolina. About 10 miles south of us is South Carolina. So we are right on the North Carolina, South Carolina line. And in today's video, we are going to be transplanting more cucumbers. We are going to be transplanting a variety that I've never planted before. It is a slicing variety. and um i got two rows cleaned out of the supremos this is these guys over here and i planted them in succession i had four rows to start with and then i planted two more rows and then i planted two more rows the last two rows you see on the other side are actually excelsior excelsior and it's a pickling variety but uh, these supremos man i mean be honest with you it really surprised me at how productive they were and we will be planting those guys again um they were just absolutely loaded but they've run their course and we're going to get these guys out of here i'm gonna start pulling them out this afternoon but i wanted to get these here planted now because it's a little bit cloudy it's humid but it's cloudy and um i like transplanting either while it's raining when it's cloudy or late late afternoon so they don't have to worry about the heat stress now don't get me wrong it is hot here it's it's humid as all get out you're gonna see me pouring sweat here in a minute but um I got them on weed mat. They are on two foot spacings, as you can see, and I got some of them already in the ground, but we're just gonna go through and we're gonna double the holes. We're gonna put a little bit of garden tone in there and we're gonna transplant these guys. And then I'm gonna turn on the irrigation and water them in really hard. But um, when I get done with that, before I start irrigating, I'm gonna pull probably two more rows of these out. And I don't know that we're gonna be putting cucumbers back in behind these. I may be putting peppers or something like that because I've got a ton of peppers I need to get put in the ground. Um, and I still got some eggplant that I could transplant too. But uh, yeah, we're going to be mixing it up because we've got a lot of plants sitting on the rack over here that need to go in. And, you know, this push that we got now will get us to the end of August and into the first part of September. And that should be, you know, the time that we start cooling off a little bit. Normally it stays hot and humid around here till mid September. Towards the end of September, you'll feel a little different in the evening and at night, and it'll gradually cool off from there. But um, we also got to get ready to get started on our fall uh, crops. We got, uh, all, we've already got collars, we've already got Swiss chard, we've already got Brussels sprouts, and I think that's it, started for fall crops. We still got, oh, and I got some cabbage. But we've got a ton of cabbage varieties that we want to put in and we got plenty of broccoli plenty of cauliflower and all that good stuff we got to get our kale started and all that and we got a little bit of time but i'm shooting for a transplant date in the field the second week of august that's what i've got in stone right now depending on what happens now if there's a hurricane that week you know we won't be able to do it but we'll have plants ready to go in and we'll get into more of that later on when we get ready to transplant or we get ready to start some more seeds and i'll talk about that but um just for today's video we're going to talk about cucumbers now this variety that we're planting today is a bait alpha um i've done a ton of research on it i've watched a ton of videos of people that do grow it in um north carolina um central north carolina eastern north carolina a lot of people like it um it's a parthenocarpic which means it doesn't need pollinizer and um that's really good around here because right now with everything blooming the way it is and everything in the garden these bees man they are wide open i mean it's like trying to pull a fat kid away from a buffet it's just you know they got so many blooms out here they're trying to work on and you know something's going to get missed and i noticed last year some of the cucumber varieties that i had planted and i planted a little different last year i had 100 foot rows but some of them um we noticed that wasn't getting pollinized and with the zucchini they wouldn't get pollinized too so I told myself this year I was going to spend the money and buy some Parthenor carpet and Genosius varieties. That way we didn't have to worry about the bees doing all the work. So this variety is um, known for its taste. Everybody that I read about or watched a video on said that the taste, you couldn't beat it. Um, as long as you picked it small. You pick them small, they're sweet, very few seeds in it, if any. And being close to a seeded variety, we will probably see some that's got seeds in it. But um, thin skin, really, really a uh, all-around great cucumber for slicing or using for salads and things of that nature so we're trying to look for another variety that we can get into another little niche in the farmers market game um you know with varieties that people are looking for now you know we got some guys at market that sell those big asian cucumbers and things of that nature and they seem to do very well. i mean they do okay with them but 
you know we sell a lot of pickling cucumbers i mean yesterday we went to market i went to rayford and betsy went to moore county and between the two of us i think we sold like 25 pounds of cucumbers i mean that may not sound a lot like a lot to a lot of people but you know we're just growing this in this little area right here that's the only place that we've got cucumbers so you figure we did two markets with 25 pounds of cucumbers off of these rows you see right here behind me but you can tell um just looking at the way the market's going now and we're still doing good i mean it's still you know worth our time and energy but um you can tell that everybody's home garden everybody that started a tomato plant everybody that planted cucumbers and all that stuff they are you can tell the home gardeners gardens are putting out right now because guys i mean people are coming to market less looking for tomatoes and this that and other but and you're always going to have those people that don't grow a garden you're always going to have the people that come to get um tomatoes for making salsa and canning and all that stuff you're always going to have those guys but you know the home gardener right now is pretty happy because they're getting harvest off of their garden and with this heat and all that stuff th that'll come to an end i mean it won't last long and then you'll hear people saying i don't know how you still growing anything and it, it's tough it really is i mean we're in the part of the year now that it's going to be hot every day and it's going to be 100 degrees some days and it's going to go weeks on end without uh, rain and that well my irrigation timers and these sprinklers and these risers they're the only thing that's keeping me between things being lush and green and growing or being burnt up and toast and we're going to talk a little bit more about irrigation i'm gonna put a video together here pretty soon with uh, everything that i use as far as my irrigation setup and how i got it you know timer set and when i do it and when i don't do it and all that good stuff so be looking for that all right so i'm gonna try to do a couple so you can get an idea how i'm doing it basically i'm just taking my little stick and all this is a broke off broom handle that i cut the little point on it and taking a little bit of garden tone the small end of that scoop which is maybe half a tablespoon if that i don't even think it's that and you can see the root balls on them they're kind of egg shaped but i'm sticking it in that hole and pushing it to the bottom make sure you don't have any air trapped in the bottom of that hole because it will kill your plant if you get air in there you'll get what they call air pruning and uh it'll kill it but basically that's all we're doing and we're gonna get on down this row i think i've got 48 plants to put in here and i skipped the first two plants on this end and i'm gonna skip the first two on that end and uh these guys are gonna be on hoarding over trellis anyway so they'll have something to climb on and uh, hopefully keep them off of the map keeps them from burning up um that man will get hot and then leaves touching it and that fruit touching it it just it ain't any good it doesn't do them any good at all walk over here to the high tunnel a minute i got something to show you guys i know in the last video i did when we were trellising those heirloom tomatoes um i showed you a row of primo reds that were just about done and there was a jungle in there there was a mess in that tunnel and i'm you know i'm not that kind of gardener guys i don't like doing that i like things straight and i like things neat but it gets so busy sometimes you just can't help it but this is what it looks like now if you go back to the last video and i'll see if i can get a little clip of that and i'll plug in here now these are red deuce um these guys here are an absolutely fabulous tomato when it comes to summer slash fall plantings i did it last year i had a whole tunnel full of these things last year and it did they did absolutely amazing i had tomatoes from early fall up until december out of this tunnel out of five rows and that's what we're shooting for this year we're shooting to have tomatoes into december if not january um and that'll be tough because we get some of our colder weather weather around the first of january mid of january and by then i'll have a heater in here and have everything automated to run off the thermostat so i'm hoping to be a whole lot further along with that um here as it starts cooling off once things start slowing down with the main garden summer crops warm season crops and then i can move into that kind of stuff i want to put roll up sides i want to put shutter fans um louvers on the front and a um moline or a, any kind of um natural gas heater or propane heater yeah but i thought you guys would kind of get a kick out of that that's uh the way that tunnel looked at the time was a little embarrassing because i don't normally let that go that far but it's easy to do when you get as busy as we are right now and i've also got a row of caiman these are greenhouse tomatoes that i transplanted out here into this other mess i got going on and these guys here you, you can see they should have been trellis they didn't get trellis they're too big to trellis now so i'm gonna let them run their course pull them out i've got another planting of sun golds and another planting of what else is it oh uh sakura 
cherry tomatoes that are going to go in here and i'm hoping to have the plastic order for this this week so we can get on down the road with this one because i got to get this one done before i can start on this one and i still got a lot of lettuce and these tomatoes are done they're toast so i got to get that field work done and get ready to put that other tunnel up i'm hoping to have it up before the end of july i don't know that's um that's a little that's a little much to have to cram all in there but that's what i'm shooting for because i got to get a timeline down because i got two more to put in here after that all right guys so we got those two rows in um i think it's 48 in each row and i was gonna work on uh cleaning up some of the mother rows but some popped out so i've got to turn the irrigation on these guys so i don't lose them don't burn them up but there they are and what i'll be working on here over the next course couple days is getting the uh hoarding over trellis put in and that's pretty straightforward it's not hard i mean you know you can have this up in a couple hours but um once we put it up though it's going to stay up because we'll just keep planting right here on these two trellises uh once these come off And just like that guys that's how we make it rain but guys we got a lot of content coming up it's moving into the hot weather and if you want to see how we make it here in the south farming um produce farming then you want to stay tuned to this well guys let me get off here i got more seed to start but yeah i'll put a link to the video that when we started our first cucumber planting i'll put a link to it up here and if you found anything entertaining anything informative or if you just want to know more about our farm click this subscribe button over here in the corner I bet she just texted me and told me she just cut a watermelon and it's good and cold. So I'm going to go get a piece of that, cool off a minute, and get back at it. But guys, we appreciate you stopping by. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you on the next one.